Dando que, dando que. Enséñalo. Pedro, enséñalo. Oh no, man, that's gross. Espera, enséñalo. Oh, you gross. No, man. How dare you? Yo, one, two, three. No, 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 one, two, three. Wait, really chew them. This one after. Mm -hmm. This one is a bit disgusting. Mm -hmm. no, don't no, look no. at it, don't look at it. Look at me, look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Show them. Show them, show them. Don't look at them. Just look at the camera. One, two, three. And chew you them. Really chew them. I, I promise you. I, I really chew them. them. It's a, ha, chew them. It's dead, no, it's dead. It's a, it's a good flavor. <laughs> chew them, chew them, chew them, chew them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man! Hermano, <laughs> hermano! Hermano! That's quite nice. Nice? Is it nice? Mm -hmm. With the nuts? Yeah, yeah, it's good. This is for the llevar, por favor. Ah, sí, 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 Ah, al más alto no. A la más alta no. A la más alta no. Cuando tu rama ya quede sin ojitos. Es como un proyecto medio de pisadito. No, no, no. Otras. Esa pon tú también se va. ¿Eh? Sí, eh. Ya nos colectas. Ya se me está parando. Where my dad lives right now, there's a lot of these guys. They're fucking. That's a way. The way PDF. No, si fuera, no si fuera en volar. No volar, pero podría ser eso para mirarlo. Es un cubo. A ver, tráeme una fotito. Tengo uno. Can I grab it? A ver, me tomas un. Una fotito. A ver, Brett, ahí estás en buen ángulo. Sí, sí, este cabrón, ¿cómo se...? Oye, un amigo tuyo, lo pegaron un jaguar. Pero me dijo, güey, ¿quieres a Tulum? En verano, cuando hay muchas lluvias, sí, ya las... Y si sí te digo algo... No, además vivir la experiencia de África caguameando así es rico. ¡Salud perros! ¡Échele! Güey. No, está mucho más verga, eh. Ve ese güey como que no sabe qué trae. A ver, mi pol te haces un tantito para ti. Oh, no, I actually man, like that one more. That one in the bottom is like... A ver, ve, ve las leonas, güey. Dime que no las quieres la acariciar. Son las pata, putitas, ¿verdad? Todas wey. de su lado y todos los putos del otro lado. A ver, güey, ve. Se me antoja apretar wey, el labio. Yo tengo unos ochos o algo. Perfecto. Ah, 
You have good jumping skills, bro. Alright, so all basic going after America, we're here in Mexico for a bit more than a week. Right now, we are in a campsite and we're gonna stay here over the night, wake up in the middle of the night, hike to see the sunrise on top of the mountain at Puebla. So the boys are outside, they're chilling, came back home, got my banana split. That's pretty good. Here's me better with the sun. I didn't feel good. I think since like three weeks from traveling, I'm sleeping here and there. I'm going on a on a hike. I went to Yosemite Park, so sleeping on a tent, not sleeping well. With the traveling, with a lot of planes, a lot of bad sleep during the planes, and jet lag. The sleep is not always easy as well when I can get time to sleep in a real bed. Same for food, same for hydration. It hasn't been the best and I think I felt it today. When I woke up, I went to bed at 11, a bit maybe before 10.30, woke up at 2.30 in the, the night to pack and go climb up this mountain just here. But the problem is when you wake up at 2.30, you're quite tired, especially with all the circumstances I just said. And I didn't drink, I didn't eat correctly, or not enough at least. So I wasn't prepared. I hadn't had any hiking gears in terms of like warmth. So I had to take two big blankets with me and on the top of there, when there is no sun, when it's like you're wet because you're sweaty and it's windy, man, it's freaking cold. It's cold, and when you're cold, you consume more energy. When you consume more energy, you need to eat and to drink and blah blah. So it's you know, it's a lot, it's a circle. So I didn't go to the top, I stopped at this point there that I'm gonna show you now. Uh, let me see what I'm filming. Like, yeah, so the top is somewhere up there. I stop there at this small peak there, which is, I think, enough. Because, as I said, I was cold there. I feel like I was gonna die, man. I was like kneeling, like, I was like this on the ground, you know, like, I was like trying to sleep like a dog, so really like gathering all my body and my legs and my arms together. Plus the blanket fully covered, I couldn't see anything. And I was just behind a big rock to avoid the wind. And I just felt tired and like, like hard to breathe as well. From what I've heard, maybe it can be, can be due to the altitude here. But anyway, so yeah, it's very not good to be tired, accumulate fatigue, and then go hiking or do stuff that can be generous or stuff where you should have energy, you know? So that was me sharing on the feedback for 
my hike. I'm gonna wait for them that they come down. Then I'm pr probably gonna sleep a lot, drink, get food, and feel better afterwards, right? See you. Pedro desmadró todo el camino y fue de no, pues si no me aviento ahorita no hay idiota. Oh. <risa> Estuvo de miedo. No pude frenar, güey. Pues tomé la, la línea como. Sí, güey, no me no, no. Yo literal le estaba pensando así, ah, de Miguelito. Que si quieres uno de... Un besito pues de Le vacante. pusieron un besito. No, así no tiene nivel. Delicioso. Hola, Lito. Man, le mama a lavar todo. What's up? So now it's the morning and I'm gonna show you what's the kind of morning routine we have here. So usually we wake up at like, it depends, 8 to 9. And we come out here, walk barefoot, we read a book, and we kind of just get used to the sunlight. And kind of like a sun bath, which is good for like your second rhythm. Like exposition to like daylight early on in the day is very important. For many things, you have many, many stuff. So we do that for like 20 minutes or more. And then we finally go get breakfast, either outside or we just make breakfast here. Like today, we're making some eggs, scrambled eggs. Today is the chill day where there is nothing really planned. So we're mostly gonna do some laptop work. Then we're gonna work out here. I'll probably, I can see yeah, the bars here. Making breakfast. Breakfast ready? Let's eat. working but we have to work out you know I have goals and my excuses won't help me to achieve them so if you have a workout to do anything to do think about me and take me as an example and know that you are as good as I am so if I do it now you can do it as well so just do it and once you have done it write it down in the comment section like you to know that it's not easy it can appear to be easy but in fact it is not and that is true for everyone all right just woke up 
It's like pre early in the morning, seven. So now we're leaving the crib and we're going to Puerto Escondido. It's like a nice beach place, tourist, very beautiful. And we're going there for like two days and then we're gonna fly back to Europe. So slowly we get to the end of this trip in North America, the US and Mexico. Yes. Puerto Escondido. It's Very a bit sweet. bigger, you know? Shrimp, cocktail. And it's like a. What's it called? Casadillas. La Yuda. La Yuda. Yeah, but can. Okay, it's like a casadillas. And here you just got his tacos. That uh, looks. Beauty. The food was amazing and now I'm like, there's too much light here, it's crazy. Setting up for the day, beach day! The food was blessing. Alright, so beach is done. Now we're going to eat again. Beach was nice. We stayed until the sunset. We read our books, went to the water, and so on. It's really nice here, the place. Really cozy. Francis over there looking for some shiny Latina. So let's go. You see, like, the place is very nice. Very local, very touristic. At night, it's very sweet. It's the end, last morning here, we got breakfast. Very nice and fat breakfast. It was nice. Yesterday it rained a lot, so we mostly chilled. We read our books and so on. And now we're just gonna go to the beach one last time. And then we're gonna head back to the airport. And yeah, like four weeks vacation stops here, man. It's been nice. And we live with a lot of memories and good stuff and good friends and good stuff that we have done. So it's nice, you know, good stuff have an end, and here it comes.